had been on injured reserve, is in the lineup now, playing a weak side linebacker, and they're going to get a sack. I know the fridge is in there somewhere, and a few of his friends, including Tim Ryan, who's starting today, and John Roper, who put the pressure on. And on the Bears, 31. Harbaugh to throw. Receivers covered, goes down the middle, and the pass is caught. And it's James Thornton, the tight end. And Carlton Bailey makes the tackle, a gain of 25 yards, and that's a good play by Thornton, who was injured, suffered a hamstring pull in overtime. He's been in on every defensive play thus far. Second down and six for the Bears. Stairmaster's working. And the handoff is to James Rouse, who's forced to play fullback today in the absence of Brad Muster, who re-injured his hamstring against the New York Jets. And First down on the 36-yard line. Waddle goes in motion. Arbaugh's pass out of the backfield is Neil Anderson. His first reception of the game, Cornelius Bennett makes the tackle, and the Bears... Play fake, Harbaugh nearly tackled from behind, but gets it off to James Rouse. And about six bills bring Rouse down. It will be a first down for the Bears. The pitch to Anderson with Rouse blocking in front of him. And Neil Anderson will have enough for another Chicago first down as he is down at the 37-yard line. A pickup that time of eight yards. Carlton Bailey again in on the stop for the Bills. Bear Harbaugh with a short drop and his pass to Wendell Davis. And that is a completed pass, and it'll be another Chicago first down. For this Bear deep, our Bear offense. And it's a running play to Neil Anderson. Van Horn blocking in front, and Anderson with a fine run. The best of the game for either side. Gets to the 17-yard line, a pickup of 14 with Nate Odoms making the tackle. And a good... And it's Neil Anderson trying for the one yard, and he dives forward and will have it. So ball controlled by the Chicago Bears. Nate Odoms making the tackle, and now they're going back to Bear football as we've known it. Harbaugh getting big pressure, has to hurry up. He gets it off to Wendell Davis. But a good tackle by Kelso outside of the 10-yard line prevents a bigger gain, five yards. And Kelso made a good stop inside linebacker for Buffalo. Harbaugh getting some rush, and the pass is caught out of the backfield. Neil Anderson are in Buffalo real estate. First down and five. The pitch to Neil Anderson, and a good block by Darren Lewis. But Anderson is piled on and right around the 25-yard line by Ray Bentley. Motion. Straight ahead is Anderson. And he dives forward to the 21 and appears to have another Chicago first down. Shane Conlon on the stop there. On the 20-yard line, Harbaugh. Short drop and a quick pass, and it's to the rookie Morgan who had to turn around. First back through is... Darren Lewis. Lewis gets inside the 10-yard line. And this time, Lewis goes in motion. Harbaugh with a jump pass to Anderson. To the five. Penalty down. Anderson gets in for the score, but there's a penalty marker down. We may have a pick call on that play. Looked like one of the defenders hit before that ball was thrown. Bears are slowly getting out of field goal range as well. Six defensive backs. And Bennett charging in on Harbaugh, laterals to Neil Anderson. And Anderson is stopped inside the 25 by Cliff Hicks, the extra back. Third down and 13, and pressure put on. Roper behind Kelly, and the pass is thrown out of bounds. It was intended for McKellar with Morrissey covering, but it was John Roper who put good pressure on Jim Kelly. Will kick Johnny Bailey deep for the Bears, and a good kick. Bailey at the 40-yard line. Changes direction. Johnny Bailey breaks a couple. And a great return by Johnny Bailey into Buffalo territory. Harbaugh with a penalty marker down. Completes to Anderson. 
And Anderson got by Leonard Smith and moves inside the 30-yard line. And a gain of 11 yards, but a flag will be called against the Bears. Got it going now. What they need to do is finish off this drive with a touchdown. First down, Bears lead 6-0, and Kelly will go down. And John Roper will pick up the sack, the third sack of the game by the Bears, and a loss that time of eight yards. If they're stuck together and get going, or it won't be. Third down and 16, and Kelly going for the downs. Touchdown to Al Edwards. That was Hal Garner and not Gardner. Garner guilty for its first down. And Thurman Thomas on the running play. Good fake that time by Kelly as he rams it out beyond the 20. And a first down. They started from the nine and got out of trouble. Lemuel Stinson. A good block that time by the wide receiver Andre Reed. Reed with 657 yards. Oh, what a move. Thomas again. There's no doubt what the Buffalo strategy is offensively coming out here in the third quarter. A gain of 19 yards in the second half so far. Woo. This time, Thomas will lose yardage. Richard Dent comes for down in 14. Kelly's pass is caught by Thomas inside the five-yard line and out of bounds. Another Buffalo first down, and Thomas has been almost a one-man gang here in the second half. Back to the left this time. First and goal on the two-yard line, and there is a fake and a pass and a touchdown to guess who? Butch Roll. Seems to only catch touchdown passes. Really been on rhythm here in the second half. Ooh, that is a there. play, nearly broken play. Thurman Thomas fumbles the ball into the hands of Donnell Wolford. The Bears get it back. And Wolford down the sideline. Kelly tries for it. And James Lofton ultimately makes the stop. Up there on the Bills, 48. Harbaugh with time. And he completes the pass to Anthony Morgan. And a first down inside the 30-yard line. Leonard Smith, the tackle, and a gain of 19 for the Bears. On the 29. Harbaugh pumps, and he completes the pass to James Rouse to the 20-yard line. As second down and one for the Bears. Play fake. Harbaugh's pass is caught by Wendell Davis. The Bears have a first down. Nate Odoms rides him out of bounds at a gain of 14 yards. And goal on the six-yard line. And they give it to James Rouse. Former tailback now playing fullback, and he drives to about the one before he is driven back by five red-helmeted Bills. It's Neil Anderson outside, but he's not going to make it. on the 35 for the Bears. Neil Anderson has Thayer blocking in front of him, and Anderson with a first down. And a fine run by Neil. Stop. Harbaugh's pass is caught inside the five-yard line. Wendell Davis. And the pitch to Anderson. And Anderson dives in for the score. Shane Conlin had a shot at him. And Anderson all of a sudden put on the Jets and got in for the touchdown. And the third touchdown rushing of the year. And the Bears score. And it is now 21 to 12 with plenty of time remaining. 8.45. And <laughs> time for refreshment for Iron Mike. Misses. Shane Conlon misses. Well, Neil Anderson didn't. Slick is greased pigs out there on the field. Thank you. First down on the 23 and a long pass. Oh! Lofton will dance into the end zone for a touchdown, 77 yards. Beating Lemuel Stinson. Thurman Thomas, nothing inside, goes outside, goes into the end zone to ice it for Buffalo. As far as the fans go, the Pass is caught by Wendell Davis. A first down for Chicago. Chance to showcase his passing skills. First down on the 29 for Willis. And the pass is caught by Tom Waddle. 
its way yesterday. Second down and two. And I believe the pass is caught in a great catch by Ron Morris, Ron Morris with a defender on his back. Bears is a passing team. I don't think that's thick his personality. Second down and ten. Willis going up top, and he completes to Ron Morris into Buffalo territory inside the 30. Well, Willis may be a good passer, but Jim Harbaugh may be the best quarterback for this team, passing and running. The stages of the first half throughout this second half. First and 10 on the 28-yard line for Peter and Tom Willis. Pass is complete to Tom Waddle on the 20-yard line. Just moving to a tie for first with the Bears in the NFC Central. Mark Green. Out of bounds, will stop the clock with 131 showing. Second and goal on the five-yard line. Here is Green diving to the one-yard line. One lead at halftime and then roll. Third and goal on the one-yard line, and Green over the top for the touchdown with 40 seconds to play. Will only affect the final margin. A day that Mike Ditka and his team could not find a way to win. They have done it. They have played, as you said, out of some very tight corners, but not today. The Chicago Bears, winner of all the close games, and the Buffalo Bills. They met at Rich Stadium. Would the Bears win another nail-biter, or would the Bills do what they do to everybody at home, i.e., blow them out? Well, early on, Mike Ditka's club had the way against Marv Levy's club. Bills, welcome back for the first time this year. Bruce Smith and Tommy, this is all. Oh, Chris, you do not do this in this game. Everybody is trying to make a living. Bruce Smith will not soon forget it. It was James Rouse. Bruce, you now know who it was. Jim Kelly didn't have Don Beebe's number. He didn't have James Lofton's number early. And the Lofton, the Bears' good pass defense does the job. So early on, the Bills sputtering. Chicago doing what they do best, uh, ground control. Neil Anderson, ground control to Major Neal. Eight yards. Second quarter, Anderson is up the middle. Nice block by Van Horn on the play. It's 14 yards. Jim Harbaugh, boy, has he looked great this year. Zips it into Anderson, 24 yards. Sets up a Butler field goal, 3-0 Chicago. But the Bears wasted opportunities. It looks like a touchdown pass to Neil Anderson, but offensive pass interference called. Negates the TD. They settle for a field goal at 6 nothing. And then Mike Ditka's club ruins a golden opportunity. Mark Carrier, pro bowler as a rookie last year, picks up Kelly. He can go all the way, except for one minor detail. You have to be on the field to finally feel exactly what you want to do. Tim, Tim Ryan replacing Trey Armstrong, obviously offside, cost him a touchdown. Certainly did. But first five possessions for the Bear, uh, for the uh, Bills, only 38 yards of total offense until the two-minute warning. Kelly to Thermal Thomas. Black and a tip for 19 yards. Kelly, well, that'll work, to Thermal Thomas for five. Just a two-minute drill. Kelly to Al Edwards for 11. Kelly to the veteran James Lofton for 12. And all of a sudden, an offense that had been bottled up is now rolling. Kelly to Andre Reed for 11. Now look at McMichael. This is his new career. Well, a la Monday night against the Jets, Steve McMichael is reaching in there. Not so much concerned about getting the tackle as he is getting that ball, but Thurman Thomas has a handle on it. They stand there for a little while. The whistle obviously blows before McMichael can get the ball out. And Thurman's determination enables Kelly to hit Al Edwards. Forget all the big names. One week it was BB four times. This is Al Edwards, and the Bears outplayed him in the first half, and they trail at 7-6. First drive of the second half for the Buffalo Bills. Thurman Thomas, what can move outside for 12 yards? Why don't we give it to number 34 again, the best all-purpose back in football, Thurman, for another eight yards. And then, Thurman Thomas. It's a good idea, Tom. Well, what a burst he has once he gets through the line of scrimmage. That was 19 yards, and Kelly to Keith McKellar, the tight end, for 15. Third and goal, and Kelly's going to call his own number. He's tough, but Mike Singletary was tougher, and it's fourth and goal. A big play. Carwell Gardner stopped at the fumble, and it's Gardner in the end zone. Not the old-fashioned way. Not the way they draw it up, but it works. Great alertness by Gardner. He feels that ball slipping out as he gets to the one-yard line. You can see him trying to scoop it up there. He's alert enough to get up, beat everybody else to the football for the touchdown. 14-6 Buffalo. The next time the Bills have the ball. Third and 14, Kelly to Thomas for 15 yards and a first down. On the next play, 10 receptions in a row for touchdown for Butch, Shake, Rattle, and Roll. It's 21-6. Buffalo, 
the Bears. Next time they have the ball, Jim Harbaugh to Wendell Davis, and it's first and goal, Chicago. They're not dying. But on fourth and goal, Neil Anderson is stopped by the Bills defense. Nate Oders making the first hit. Goal line stand for the Bills, and they take over. After a four and out, the Bears have it again. Neil Anderson, 21 yards on the sweep. A few plays later. Anderson gets in the end zone, and it's an eight-point game, 21-13. A lot of teams would get the ball on their own 23, just try and use the clock because they're ahead by two scores. Not Buffalo, one play. Kelly to the veteran James Lawson, who turns to the Bears. Remember, he was once a Packer, and he said, for years, you gave me a hard time. Now I'm giving you a hard time. Touchdown, 28-13. Jim Kelly, three to three yards passing. Each team scored another touchdown late. Somebody predicted that the Bills would win by 15, and they did. The Bills beat the Chicago Bears 35 to 20. Thurman Thomas had 147 yards uh, total on offense, had 117 and, on rushing. And the Lofton number you see there, he's now fourth on the all-time list in receptions as he's passed Ozzie Newsom.